Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nutty News Garage. In today's video, I need to do an inventory or slash I need to go through all my uh, OEM stock inventory parts and see what I have available, what I don't have, and what I need to order. And also sometimes some parts get stuck in there that I forgot that, oh, I had this part. So in this drawer right here is some of the parts that I carry. They're like all the spare stuff. Spare seals, axle seals, stuff like that that you want to have on hand. Now keep in mind that these parts right here, they stay in the garage for when I need to service my vehicle or other vehicles here in the garage. But I do have some of these that are locked inside another case, which I bring with me whenever I go um, whenever I go on the trails and stuff like that. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. If you guys are into Toyotas and you guys just want to see cool stuff, this is the video for you. But if you guys aren't into it, just go ahead and click out. So come along and enjoy. I'll describe what they are and I also will go ahead and read out the part numbers if there is any part number. So let's go and right, let's go ahead and dig into it. So this drawer right here has all my cool candy. This is the candy store right here, guys. I love it. I want to start organizing some of these and put them into some bins. I bought a, if you guys didn't know, these uh, they make these bins for a kids toys organizer and I bought one on Facebook Market for 35 bucks and it's super amazing. It comes in these guys and I'm going to start organizing them and put them into where they need to go. This is going to be a long video because I want to go through all this and show you guys my little candy store and what I have and stuff like that. So come along and dig in here. Uh, first one we have is the O-rings. These are the O-rings for the dipstick for the 3.4 when you do that. Uh, part number 967211 9010. <clears throat> I'm not going to talk too much about them. I have a bunch of these guys. These are like the uh, insert for when you remove your electrical buttons and stuff like that. <clears throat> this right here is a brakes. Uh, I believe this is a clutch sensor. Yeah, I think this is a clutch sensor for a pickup. I have plenty of light bulb 1157. These are mostly used for like the tail lights and stuff like that. So I need to go through them. These are some news feasible length for 80 series. I think these are the one I recently part out from that one Land Cruiser, that flatbed. This right here is the socket and the insert for your stick shift for a Toyota pickup. These are the white ones. They fit most of these. If you have a sloppy shift handle, you might just need to replace those. Uh, 94 3VZE. This is the knock sensor. This is off my red one. This is for a 3.0. I rarely ever need it, but I figured I'd just keep them for the heck of it. Uh, miscellaneous freeze plug for the heck of it. I got some tire valves. See, I, wasn't... I bought some of these just for the heck of it. This is the gasket strainer. This is for the pickup two for like three fours and stuff like that. 15147 62020. It's always good to have these. These are light bulbs and the light socket for the back of your gauge cluster. So during my life of parting out vehicles, I always took out the light bulbs on the cluster that's broken because these are nice to have. They're the really puny light bulbs and it's really hard to find those at the auto store. These are some bolts for when you remove the CV axle and remove the stud and replace them with the uh, bolts and stuff like that. That was from the last 3-4 swap that I did. Valve cover gasket. This is for. This is for. I think this is for a 1FZFE. This is a 3.0 knock sensor harness. I bought this because I was going to swap it out one time, but I never ended up using it. So 3.0822193510. If you guys are local in Anchorage and you guys need some of these parts, feel free to hit me up. I'll be more than happy to sell some of them as long as I don't need them right away. Like, for example, I don't need this no more. These are nice to have. These are the exhaust studs. The exhaust stud to the manifold, they always go out bad. That's the part number. 9012611, no, 9012615. It's nice when you have brand new ones. These are the rear axle gasket for Land Cruiser. They also fit other vehicles. These are the for the front, I believe. Uh, for the front, it's different. The front is not a full circle. The rear is a full circle. This is the front, 43422, 660. It's always nice to have these on hand, guys. You never know when you need these. Yeah, if you don't have these on hand, you can go ahead and use RTV, but it's nice to have these. These are the C-clips for your Land Cruiser Axle for your C-clip to go into your burr fill. The other day I was parting out, or last time when I parted out one, the last Land Cruiser, I took out the axle from the burr fill and the C-clip broke. So I like, man, let me go ahead and order some because I never have these. So these don't ever go bad, but it's nice to have them. 
905-213-4005. Oh, so much goodie parts in here, guys. These are LED lights. LED lights from Amazon. These are the one that fits into your side marker. I highly recommend you guys replace them. Looks super bright and super awesome. I don't have a part number for that. Amazon has it. This is just a, I think this is an oil, a bolt, uh, oil pan bolt. And then this is a banjo bolt for a few line or a few rails. Just good to have these in, in case. These are a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I don't think they're the right part number. So there's like an O-ring. 9672124022 this is for the back of the timing cover for on, on a f uh, 80 series and also you have a rectangular one that goes on the bottom these are super important people always forget about these and they end up using rtv and which and then it goes bad so the rectangular one 11328666020 and then these are the throttle body gasket for the 80 series no this is for a coolant gasket that's the coolant gasket this one is always nice to have 16119660 and this is a throttle body for 80 series throttle body is 2227166010 Whew, so many numbers why well, can't Toyota just have like a five digit part number or a well I guess they can't do that because they'll run out of part numbers there's so many parts out there if you guys have oil leaking from your oil cap this is the seal on your oil cap there's a seal inside of it and that makes it oil don't leak so this is for the fzj80 but these also fit the pickup it most most of most of the toyota v6 they all these are all the same it's just a rubber seal that goes inside that oil cap this right here is part number 9043037140 my my red land cruiser was leaking oil from the oil cap I'm like why is it doing this and i saw that the gasket was super cracked up so i went ahead and ordered a few of them these are the O2 gasket for 3-4. Just a bunch of miscellaneous. No part number for that. And then, oh, I have a, I have a 5.7 and a 10,000K uh, resistor. I actually need a 10K for doing the white pickup. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside so I don't forget. Man, I have so many things. These are 3.0 spark plugs. NGK. I was going to do this for the blue pickup last time, I think. But I never ended up doing it. And these are NGK 7090 six of those guys but it's good to have them because one day if i get if i get another 3.0 pickup i might just need it for tune-up these are land cruiser these are important to always have as extra these are the these are the bolts and the nuts for your dry line so you can't just use regular bolts because they're not strong enough so these are toyota ones and i have so many of these on hand if you guys ever need any let me know last time my buddy he put some regular bolts and nuts from a hardware store and he snapped it on an off-road trip but thankfully we were already back at the trailhead so don't use your regular bolts from your hardware store you have to use toyota i think i think it's a it's a stronger grade these are half moon covers i think these are for land cruiser i don't end up using those uh, oh, I didn't even know I have this. This is a, these are fuel injector seals, new rubber seals and gasket. I think these are for a Land Cruiser. I might need these, so I'm gonna set them aside because we're doing a rebuild. This is a starter rebuild kit for a Land Cruiser, I believe. I think I was gonna rebuild one of the starter off the Land Cruiser, but never got to it. So it's hanging out here for a while. Here's another O2 sensor gasket. Gotta put that with the other guys. A bunch of star gasket. Oh, I I was actually gonna I was thinking about these the other day. I'm like, man, do I have any more star gasket? So these are always nice to have. So crazy when you uh think about things and like, man, what do I have? And it's nice that you have it. I have it in here. These are fresh axle seals. No, these are the rear axle seals. <coughs> um, the wheel hub seals. So that's the part number right there. I have a bunch of these. And I went ahead and um, vacuum locked them into these little these, these little baggies. Oh yeah, I do have FCJ. So these are FCJ injector seals. Has all your O-rings and stuff. I think those came with a the kit. These right here are, uh, these are the FZJ80 EGR. These are the gaskets for those. I probably won't ever use those because I did an EGR delete and I don't ever need to remove my EGR delete plate. So I shouldn't have to replace them. These are the uh, gaskets for oil cooler. Oil cooler gasket two is needed. And that's 15785660610. Dude, I it's just these gaskets are just so nice to have. These are the exhaust gaskets. These are for the 80 series, guys. Um, 80 series, there's two kinds. One's a bit smaller, one's a bit bigger. So one of them is 17451520601. 
that one and then the other one is 909170 so these are for the catalytic converter i believe if i'm not wrong i believe it's for the catalytic converter and for the 80 series catalytic converter i noticed that when i bought that cruiser i was i was using uh just regular auto parts gaskets and they will go bad like they will go bad after a thousand miles and i finally went ahead and bought oem gaskets these guys and now they don't leak anymore definitely get good ones here's another 3.0 spark plugs oh these are the o-ring these are the o-rings for the 3.4 i need to label them so i don't mix them up because they do get confusing yeah these are the 3.4 o-rings behind the uh, oil pump 9672124020 these are some starter contacts these are for 22re this is when i had that 22re beast never ended up using it a bunch of valve cover uh, these are the spark plug tube gasket for 80 series i bought these extra never used them yet uh, this is a front and rear main seal for 80 series these are just some generic brands so never used them yet and this is for a this is for a 3.4 and a 3.0 rear um, rear main seal, I believe. That's the part number 903119909. 3 3.0, 3.4 engines, the front and the rear main seal are all the same. So when you order one, you can use it on vice versa. I got these off of eBay. There are some hinges. These are the hinges for the X cab pickup, the doors. I bought these because at one time I had a truck, my red one that I bought. And it was broken. I never ended up replacing it. Uh, this is a thermostat gasket. FZJ thermostat gasket. Just some generic brand. Nothing crazy. These are the FZJ80 um, O2. No, the Cali converter gasket that I was telling you guys. So these were the one that I was using before. And they go bad after a thousand miles or so. So I'm not going to use these anymore. But they're always going to have just in case somebody else needs it these right here are nice most people don't carry this and most people don't know this these are the ring differential for one 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 five three five zero one zero there are these little rings right here and these are for your high pinion diff for all you 80 series owner high pinion diff if you guys ever do a rebuild on your high pinion diff and you remove your ring and pinion you're gonna break this ring here this is a metal ring it's very thin you're gonna break this ring and you need to replace it. I went ahead and ordered a bunch of these because when I had John rebuild my uh, gears early this year, I knew that he was gonna need one of these because I figured he didn't have any. But what this is is that this is like a um, this is like a little cup, and it keeps the oil. It keeps since the high since the eighty series since the eighty series is a high pinion. It keeps the oil from not starving because it keeps like the oil up in the gears and something like that so make sure you guys order this part when you guys do your rebuild if you guys do like a breakdown on your rebuild because most ring and pinion kit they don't come with that 80 series high pinion we got some uh engine coolant temperature these are off the three four these are the one i was using for troubleshooting i have some wiper kits these are some white oh i can use this because i have a customer i have the 80 series right now in the shop that couldn't use this she can use a rebuild so these are the wiper filts, um, just some generic brand off eBay. I don't plan to use these anymore because I went ahead and got the Trail Gear polyurethane wiper kits and those guys are supposedly reusable and they've been working so good right now. So I don't plan to ever use those, reuse those. I, I don't plan to go too back to the old school no more. Okay, so this right here is the bearing needle. This is for the spindle. So instead of the brass, um, the brass fitting, this is the bearing needle. Looks like that. 903643311 I bought these because in the future whenever I have to do another rebuild on the front end I'm going to go with this style. So you so you need the needle needle bushing and then you also need the little brass and the brass is like really thin and it gets mesh on top of it like that. So these brass are called um these are part number 9038135001 right there. Those so you have those kind and then you have the <laughs> you have the old school one. These are the old school one, the brass one. I got a couple of these. These are some one that I bought off of eBay. These are the ABS on the Land Cruiser 80 series. If you have ABS, your ABS sensor that goes into your knuckle and your rear axle. These are the washers for those. I don't ever need these anymore, so I'm gonna give these away to somebody that might need it because I did a 80 I did an ABS delete. 
This is the gasket oil pump for the 80 series. 80 scary, the oil pump is known to leak. 15188660020. So it's always good to have a bunch of these guys. And they kind of look like a really weird shape. It's not a full circle. It's kind of like a kind of like a racetrack. These are the Dizzy O-ring FCJ80. The distributor has an O-ring that's common to leak. If you have a leaking one, this is what you need. They're brown. Sometimes they're black, but they're those guys. Part number is 900991418. Always have a few of these guys. I'll talk about these later. These are front axle seals for 80 series. These are OEM. No, sorry. These are the rear axle seals OEM. So I keep two of them zip into this packet. I don't have a part number on top of my head. <laughs> These are the front axle seals for the 80 series. If you guys have an 80 series and when you do your axle seal rebuild, use only the OEM. Don't use Trogear, don't use Martin Crawler. They will leak because they cannot handle the full-time all-wheel drive that 80 series have. These are the OEM one and their seal is different. When you look at these compared to Martin Crawler, these are kind of like a little cushion. It's it's like a little gimbal. It's, it, the, the seal works like a little gimbal. It always moves with the axle. And part number 903103510, they cost like six bucks each if you know where to get them from. So always have extra. See, these are all the rear ones. I have extra extra rear ones these are the front hub seal for the front hub wheel hubs 903116202 <coughs> sorry these are for the rear yeah these are the rear axle so on the rear 80 series hubs they have a lip and you want to put that when you put that rear wheel bearing if you guys know how to do it you guys know what i'm talking about this is a pinion seal. I believe this is for a front 80 series. I'm not too sure or a rear, rear 80 series. And then this is just a crushed sleeve that came with one of the kit that I bought earlier. I probably won't ever need this. So I might just hold on to that if case I, in case one day I need to I start doing like gears and stuff. And then these are also nice to have. These are the studs right here. These are the studs, 901261010. These are for Land Cruiser 80 series, but I think they should work on the Toyota solid axles as well. These are the studs for your knuckle. On most eight, most knuckle, they have four on the bottom, and those, sometimes, it's been common for those to snap off. Mostly if you have like big tires and you off-road, so it's always nice to have these on the trail extra i have some extra ones already boxed with me that i carry with me all the time all right so these right here are the studs 901160832.5. these are the studs for the front and the rear hubs this is what holds the flange and the rear axle these are known to break if you go hardcore off-roading so it's always good to have some extra one these are the toyota ones and then I recently just ordered some which are the same thing but these are made by ARP and they're much stronger they're all covered up in this sleeve and I'm gonna put these um, these are for the rear but I can also put them in the front as well I believe but I'm gonna put these on the rear of my axle on my 80 series next time I service my rear hub because I'm running 38s I have lockers and I don't want to snap those so if you guys don't know your power transfers to the axle and then the axle turns the wheel hubs and this these studs are what connects your axle onto your hub so if these snaps your axle is just gonna spin and your tire is no longer spinning because your axle isn't connected to the hub so if you look at it you see why these are really really important so these are the arp i, I just ordered these like last week i just haven't got time to do it yet because i have so many other projects here already so these are put up here so I, whenever I use this door, I always see it and I'm like, hey, I gotta do that soon. So we went over those seals, those seals. These right here, I'm planning to do a 105 shaft upgrade on the 80 series. And these are just the nuts and the uh, half of the kits. I still have to order the actual 105 shaft kit. And then I have to order the um, gasket kit to do the rebuild. But this is the nuts for it, 90172. 9017022058. These are the nut castle nuts for the chef. So I ordered these because one time I was on partsq.com ordering. I'm like, man, these things are like a couple bucks only. Let me just order these while I'm at it. So I got the 
So you only need one. You only need one. This is a big old nut. So I like to order just double just for the heck of it. And then this is the crush washer. This is a crush washer 9451102200. So that is pretty much it right there. I do have another box that I just pulled out from my garage, my shed. I have some more hub seal. So these are the hub seal for the rear. No, for the front. Yeah, these are all the front hub seal. I got plenty of those. I got so many of them. I got a lot of them because I ordered a bunch of them and I also didn't know that when you order the kit, the kit comes with it when you do like the wheel bearing kit and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of them. These are all as nice to have. And then I have some wiper kits along with some filts. Um, these are like the front axle filts and stuff like that. And then a bunch of the star kits. So I'm gonna put these together. I'm gonna set these aside with these right here. So whenever it comes, whenever it comes to a rebuild, I know to do it, but I'm gonna keep these up here. Well, I'm gonna organize. I'm gonna organize it right now um, because I want to put them into the bins. And then I also have this box here, which I forgot what's in here. So let's check it out and see what's in there. These right here, I just pulled there. These are the bolts for the front hub to the rotor. Rotor. Um, same thing with these guys. These guys are just vacuum. And then I got more dry line bolts. These are the one that I was telling you guys about. A bunch of these guys. If you guys ever need some, let me know. This is a U joint. This is a brand new one. This is for a. This is from Moog. This is a U joint. This is for the front. Front U joint. Make sure you label it. The 80 series, the front and the rear U joints are different size. This right here is a thermostat gasket along with some crush washer. These crush washer they are for their fuel rails this is a rubber o-ring i think this is for a oil cap as well i don't know why it's in there by itself and then the exhaust nuts if you guys don't remember exhaust nuts are one time use 9008017187 i have a bunch of these for some reason i need to get them all together so i know where they're at because i have them scattered everywhere and then these are a bunch of shims these are the shims for when you do your ring and pinion i believe I don't know why they're in here. I don't recall me putting them in here. All right, so these are the sensor. Oh, I need to keep these. These are the, these are all the sensor that plugs into the 80 series head. I, I took these off because I think I stripped it off from another Land Cruiser. These are a bunch of OEM Toyota hose clamp. These are the really cool ones. I don't know why I have them here. I never used them yet. And then these are a bunch of 80 series ABS O-rings as well. They need to go here because I'm gonna give them away. There's another thermostat gasket for an 80 series, I believe. This is an O-ring. This is for the 80 series uh, timing cover gasket. This needs to be put with the other ones because they need to stick together. And then this is a gasket for a water pump for an 80 series. I don't plan to use these kinds anymore, so I might trash them or I might keep them this these came off the, off the kit evergreen evergreen is like your amazon one i think i got these for free when i bought my land cruiser so that's pretty much it there's a bunch of nuts and bolts and some vacuum caps but those are all the parts that i have i'm gonna go ahead and sort them out really quick and just kind of categorize categorize them into like seals axle seals rubberized pieces metal pieces and just put them back where i can get them and put them in stages where i know i'm gonna use those first because um i just needed i just needed to see what i have actually and just make an inventory everything and then if i need to order more spare parts in the future i know what to order and what not to order so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section below i might make another video in the future where i show you guys all my spare parts like axles and stuff like that so let me know if you guys are interested in that because i do have some of those I have a lot of spare parts for my 80 series that I accumulated and a bunch of other parts for Toyota pickups that I accumulated and I really need to declutter and downsize because I have a lot of doubles of everything and let me know if you guys are interested I'll make a video of that and I'll get that sort together so hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys next time much love follow the Instagram 90 new underscore 4x4